Howdy folks, Max Volume here. Shortly after Mike set the world speed record, we were invited to Wichita, to the EAA chapter there, um, chapter 88, the world's largest. And after we gave our little forum, which is on another video that I posted, we were invited to the Wichita State University wind tunnel by Bonnie Johnson and Ed Merkel. And after that we got to see the Merkel airplane, Merkel 2, which was awesome. Enjoy. You are going to be able to get your money back out of it. So then we decided what we do is um, build the hangar building out there and just get a mobile home. And stick the mobile home inside the hangar. I, I think that's the one. So, and when do you, how far out can you go, how, how close to the wall can you go before you start to get some... We, we say we'd like to stay within 80%. If you go beyond that 80%... 10 feet, so 8 feet. Yeah, and you think it's a lot of walking. So, really the ideal, like on Ed's airplane or your airplane, the ideal is 5 to 6. Mm -hmm. Because then you don't even have to worry about, you know, running into, into a problem there. Now, that's, that's a 23-foot diamond bound mouth. So it's a six to one area contraction ratio, mm -hmm. going from here to here. And then that's driven by an 11 foot diameter prop. You can mm -hmm. walk down there if you want. Uh, this is where our deposit is coming in. Um, oh, you've got to speed up so nobody's going to pull stuff into the. Well, hopefully. Oh, as you can what see, interesting uh, acoustics in here, Matt. Well, I was yeah. noticed that we, right we, here. Yeah, Those are fire, fire glass. Uh, tips, frangible tips. What it is is if, if you drop a tool and it has to get through my screen and go in past the blades, the tips are always getting chewed up. Mm -hmm. So what we've done is we've made the tips replaceable. Oh, They'll just clever. pop off, pop in a new one, and then you're ready. And they're fiberglass. Okay, so this, this spins. And this isn't blowing air, it's drying it's air. It's drying air. It's actually, what that is is a, like a propeller off a of B-32. Uh -huh. And it thinks it's on a B-32, so it's pulling air like if an airplane were going forward. So in that case, it's drawing air past it. And it's not. Okay, there's only a certain portion of the prop that's actually doing you any good. Yeah. So that, that nose ball was put in there, it was designed such a the portion of the, of the blade. And those are cut, too. There's a steel core, and then what we've done is done a, um, a foam and glass wrap. Mm -hmm. to get the actual section to make it a little bit more efficient than what really is out there. If you made a constant section all the way through here, you would need a lot higher horsepower motor. By doing a 6 to 1 contraction ratio, you can force the air through the small section through well, here. Then 32? Yeah, like a bit. Yeah, huh. exactly. But you also get the low, low pressure. Notice the little breathing holes. Oh, look at that. So we can keep the test section atmospheric, depending whether it needs to suck air in or blow air out. So can you actually feel stuff? Uh, yeah, you were, you, you, yeah, you can feel air moving depending whether you're startup, you know, shut down, cool, or whatever. Now this, so this can, no, you can it's go circle. this way, so, and you can go... Well, this is just a two, what we call a 2D, a 7 foot 2D section, is what uh, we've got in here. Now I have pictures um, out here. Right here's where they put the little deals that make it go up and down and turn. Yeah. There you go. Because the points are fixed in the wing. And then the push rod. Yeah, the pitch strut then moves up and down. That gives you your pitch. Then see this the circle that's in there, that whole turntable oh. rotates. It's for yaw. For yaw. Um, see, and you can do ground wow, effects. Lear, Lear jets and We've uh, done practically all of Learjet's low speed testing here. Huh. We're starting to do a lot of Cessna. This is like the little CJ here, uh -huh. the citation jet that we did. So we're starting to do some of Cessna. What's this? Kemp Arena in Kansas City. In the early 80s, the roof collapsed in a ah. major storm. Oh, and they don't want that to happen again. Well, they want to know why it happened. And uh, we had, the story goes, we had the lawyers from both sides standing in the control room. And when the data came out, they shook hands and said, okay, you win. And they settled out of court. 
What we were able to show it was not wind loads that caused that roof to collapse, but actually rain. There was not enough guttering on the building to take the weight of the rain off. So. Ah, what is this guy here? That's a beach target drone. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you don't want to put people out there to shoot at when you're practicing. Well, sure. You need to practice, and that's what that is. This, try and guess what this guy is. Of course, it says, right, don't you see? Oh, 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 I know what that is. That's a, that's a... A refueling, oh, oh yeah, yeah. It's a refueling yeah. probe. Look yeah. at that. Yeah. What they wanted to do is the Air Force wanted to extend the capability for the new airplanes that were coming in, and so we were testing these little wings that actually fly it into position to see if we can expand it. Mm -hmm. See, and here's a picture of like what's in there now. It's this what we were looking at. We were able to help them uh, find out why they were skidding out in the turn and everything. Mm. So it was a, a good learning experience for the students. Of course, this is kind of always a fun one. <laughs> Everybody says, it's a trash container. What it is, is the city of Wichita has an ordinance that 90 pounds of trash in a container such as that cannot blow over to 35 mile hour wind. So we tested sandbags, of course, not trash. Mm -hmm. And we can verify, yay, barely, it did make the test or not. Mm -hmm. And this was a study on free fall with the best attitude for free fall. Ah. And uh, some work that done in Army NASA combination. And that's the airplane. That's but that cool. doesn't have the cranked wing. That's an early... Uh, that's right. That's why it's called the Mark Mark 1. And the 2 uh, is what's in the hangar. And here's the Mark. Mm -hmm. Here's the Mark 1. That's the Mark 1. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here's the Mark 2. Mm -hmm. This has a tapered wing, and i got a different juxtaposition of the empennage. Incidentally, uh, my airplane, as far as I know, is the only airplane in the world that uh, recovers from a six-turn, fully developed spin hands-off. It's idiot-proof. Wow. You can, you can wrap it up how many times <coughs> you want, and then spin recovery is uh, let go. Let it go. Just let it go. Yeah. And any idiot can do that. <laughs> I can do that. Well, there's probably some that can't. <laughs> 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 Ed, what did you go to Mahwa? That's why I wanted to talk to you about last night. How do you keep that thing together? Uh, mahogany with, uh, actually, mahogany mahogany uh, laid over a uh, aluminum spar. Yeah, it's an aluminum oh, spar okay. on the top wing and aluminum spar on the bottom wing. And then, then, and then you got, what, a steel tube? Yeah, through the steel tube through the fuselage. And, and that, again, is uh, laminated with the planks of mahogany and then cut the shape. So on the model, it's not the weight of the airplane so much as the shape. That's right. Right, mm -hmm. right. It's that strong breeze in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, where this load point is, loads right into the aluminum spar. Th these models, mm -hmm. needless to say, are very heavy. Yeah, yeah. very Thanks. heavy. To the regular airplane. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. And a regular airplane, you're going for the lighter weight. Absolutely. Where on this, it doesn't matter. You can go with heavy. Yeah. Yeah, it's and then see we've got, shape. these are like little um, steel hinges mm -hmm. that you just unscrew and then the aluminum. Um, oh, and then just tighten them back up. And just tighten them up. Yeah, I've got a little, like a little protractor I can put here, just screw it. Variable his, camber. His yeah. 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 And the real one, he actually. Full span glass. And use it as a variable camber device. And what's the maximum CL you were able to get? Uh, was that the did you learn that from the on the flight test bit was just putting put in ground adjustable uh, drag links so I could do do the symmetrical droop and then go up and fly ah, mm -hmm. ground adjusted and then go up and fly mm -hmm. and um, I with a uh, with an optimum setting of being blanked out by the horizontal uh -huh. and this was the case uh, in this and that was before I got smart about uh, doing my spin research and um, there's some very good papers on that. But it turns out that that fin would have been totally blanked. Yeah, you're... A, yeah. What, what do you figure, um, 60 uh, degrees or something? 40, or 45? 45 and 60. And uh, they've... Uh, uh, that's, that's a good rule of thumb, but some airplanes spin a little, little steeper than others. This one spins... Um, yeah, exactly at 60. 60 yeah, we, I was gonna say. Bonnie, mm -hmm. Bonnie took some uh, real life spins. We put her in the front cockpit, took the side door off, and <laughs> she had the camera. 
So we were able to. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Mother's Day gift. Yeah. No, no, this one, this one was borrowed. That's after that. That's why I got the new one. <laughs> against the horizon. Yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. See, I always do my spin tests at sunset, so you have that big meatball up there yeah. that defines the horizon, and it also allows you not to get lost on counting your turns. So every time I see that big meatball, it's one turn. Mm -hmm. Clever. Plus, it was the first time I'd ever been in a spin in my whole entire life. And I'm filming it, right? Filming and throwing it up. Actually, I never got sick because I was concentrating on holding this camera because oh, yeah. I had borrowed it from my supervisor. I was well, nothing at, like fear. Oh, like, oh, God, if I dropped this thing, yeah. I lost my job. Yeah. Yeah. This tornado but there, this is kind of just, uh, which just makes describes it a little briefly more about like a low aspect ratio. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, and I'd like to try some little device like that. I don't want to put it on the airplane yet. But when I'm through trying to make the airplane go uh, real fast, I would like to make it a sensible mail it to you. Uh, have a sensible stall. So. so yeah, this is that's yeah, you, uh, Microsoft. You have Microsoft no Microsoft geometric publisher. twist, as yeah. I uh, recall. Three quarters. You have three quarters. Yeah. Okay. Like, okay. Plus you have uh, reduced camber, yeah. which that's is what's which is yeah. virtual. Yeah. So I can put that there. Uh, that's yeah. a virtual yeah. washout. Now I made this. Reduce your camber. Uh, if you reduce right the now, camera at the tips, it would be washing, uh, like a, too, almost like washing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the reverse. What you, what normally you want to do is increase the camera out toward the tips, yeah. uh, so that they hang on longer. And yeah. now, what's happening with me is that reduced camera is making the the tip. Actually, what's happening, I think, is the whole wing is letting go at once. Uh -huh. Uh, and it just never happens quite the same way each time. Yeah, so. a good idea would be to, to just tuft it and uh, see how the stall progression yeah. is. Yeah. And uh, you, may, tests, right? you may be uh, just, it, it might be just flashing uh, starting from the root and going right out. Yeah, that's yeah, what it feels it's, like. It's yeah. instantaneous. Yeah. It's yeah. Everything is fine up until uh, just that last minute and suddenly one or the other one will let mm -hmm. Ken Razak, who's the dean of college of engineering at that point in time, went to him and said, well, actually, they kind of came to WCU and said, we want to spend our money. We don't like the idea of making money on, you know, hard times, that type of that. thing. And so More Ken, refreshing approach. Yeah, yeah. really. And, and Ken Razak had the foresight to say, okay, if you give me, I forget, it was 100000 or $160,000, I will build a wind tunnel. And basically on a shoestring, he built this facility hmm. in 1948. We went into construction 47 to 48. We had our first wind tunnel test was in 1949. Hmm. And it was a full-size 1949 automobile. The Nash Aero Flight said they had the lowest drag coefficient. Can you imagine 49 worrying yeah, about drag yeah. and those big yeah. cars? So they brought them in. They brought in Packards, Hudsons. Right here. Right here. It's a, it's a 12 foot line test section. Yeah. Drove them in, parked but them in there. But only 10 feet wide, which means the car is no, uh, yeah, pretty close to the wall. Yeah, there was a little bit of a you know, yeah. correction, data correction that yeah. they had to take into account. But they actually did some road tests to, to uh, compare them. And uh, it was. Um, it's pretty, pretty neat. Mm -hmm. Sure enough, the Nash Air Flight had the long stride coefficient. Well, now, do mm -hmm. I understand that the, that the um, uh, uh, Cessna and Beach and the rest are uh, help this facility in some way, or they test here? Like when Learjet comes here to test, uh, I charge them for testing, which is two hundred twenty-five dollars an hour, which is probably the cheapest well, you'll find cheap. for any little any wind tunnel of this size and capability. I got some numbers that's from Ames. That's a bargain. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's two twenty-five an hour. So what Beach and Lear and Cessna and Boeing, because we got Boeing Wichita here mm -hmm. in town, they'll come here and test. I have no state money. What I make is what I make. If I don't make much, things are a little tight. If I make good money, I can put you back. You mean meaning the, the tunnel? The tunnel, yeah. Ah. I, I, I run my own budget. And, ah. and, uh, You're not funded. No, I'm not funded by the state. I'll be darned. In lean times, I go borrow mm. from the state. And then when things get good, I pay back the state. Mm. And we try to keep you know a, a pad in there, at least a year's worth of money in yeah. reserve. So if I do have a whole year, when nothing takes place, I can't have students on staff, but at least we'll cover my costs mm. and, and whatever else that needs to be mm. maintained around here. So Sweet deal. Out. Yeah. It is a really uh, unique uh, deal. Is there anything else like this in the country that's uh, hooked up through uh, 
There are, there are some universities that do have the same sort of thing. Um, only a handful of them, though. Mm -hmm. University of Washington, Seattle. But mm -hmm. that's oh, a yeah, lot Boeing. of that Boeing. Yeah. Boeing went through uh, a couple of models for some Smells like an airplane. <laughs> Aviation fuel. Got a real distinctive smell. <laughs>